Hello, greetings to all technology uh, lovers, especially to um, those who like streaming and to streamers and uh, everyone who's fan of the TBS uh, technology uh, company. Um, allow me to introduce to you the latest uh, product of TBS. This is a uh, next. MI Pro, MI Pro, Intel, MI Pro 5, Intel version from, uh, straight from, turbo size from uh, Shenzhen, China, is coming. Uh, it's uh, the next evolution in the head end and uh, TV head end uh, servers, streaming servers. It's very easy to, to see. It's a uh, Rack 1U uh, unit. Full rack 1U. It's not small. It's quite big and heavy. And uh, this is the next generation product uh, produced by uh, TurboSight. I received this uh, several days ago. I will uh, open for you the uh, cover of the of the server and uh, will uh, show you what's inside. Well, our very first step. Uh, I will uh, point out that uh, we don't have any more the VFD, which we will we will we used at uh, MOI Pro AMD, but that's not a problem because uh, we have now a very powerful uh, monitoring KVM uh, KVM connection here for for using KVM devices for monitoring and the remote. Uh, connecting and installing operating system and anything would you like basically it's uh, a very useful um, addition uh, we have two gigabyte uh, LAN interface local area network interface uh, as you can see it's not anymore embedded as uh, the MOI Pro AMD was this is a um, a regular U8X um, motherboard, but um, it's a little bit uh, different than any others because it's the only single motherboard with supporting E5, which is uh, f will fit and also it will be useful inside uh, this Rack 1U. Um, there are two versions basically of this MOI Pro Intel. Uh, one of the version MOI Pro 5 or Intel, how it's called inside the company. Uh, one it's used with uh, E5 processors, uh, E5 Xeon class CPUs. Uh, it's very powerful. I mean, you can this one for example, it's a E5 uh, 2683V3 with uh, more than 10 cores, and uh, of course this one have 32. GB of uh, RAM memory DDR4 RAM memory a very powerful uh, uh, architecture here and a very powerful of course um, um, hardware piece uh, what is important is uh, this E5 the only motherboard with E5 which will fit inside uh, this unit it's uh, this uh, ASRock specific one we were looking a lot uh, looking for a, um, a motherboard to fit in. Of course, uh, with E3, a lot of motherboards will fit in, not uh, just one, especially those built by uh, Supermicro. Uh, TBS basically sells this new MOI uh, Pro 5 Intel, Intel with um, E3, the cheap version, and with E5, the um, uh, expensive versions. Uh, of course, uh, it's about taste, it's about uh, how much would you like uh, to have processing power. For example, the expensive one, this one, with E5, it will allow you also to use uh, some small lightweight transcoding alongside with the capturing the channels and uh, encapsulating them and send them uh, over IP. So, uh, what is very important here? What is the main contribution of the um, TurboSight engineers? It's these two uh, PCI Express bridges. Uh, these are unique uh, designed uh, 
PCI Express bridges. They are connecting, they are designed by, uh, by TBS uh, engineers and connecting the, um, this adapter, this specific adapter via serial ATA cables connecting uh, this adapter to the to the PCI Express bridges uh, to the PCI Express slots excuse me so this adapter basically have uh, the possibility of connecting up to six cards even more than six cards if you if you like uh, there are adapters with eight and also with uh, for, for eight cards and for ten cards but this one the standard it's uh, six cards six cards if you put inside for example uh, eight tuner cards you would have uh, for sure 40 tuners it's, it's very big it's very powerful machine for streaming for capturing for encapsulating uh, channels uh, and uh, capturing them and send them over uh, IP okay there is another new stuff inside this uh, product inside this uh, MOI Pro 5 um, Intel um, there is a card the new card is the DVB T2 and C 8 tuner card it's right here not very visible I will uh, I will show it to you um, within the second part of this um, of this uh, presentation review the second part will be uh, based on uh, software testing uh, capturing channels sending them uh, on the network and uh, we will use uh, of course uh, our uh, premium products such as the satellite 8 tuner cards and the T2C 8 tuner cards we will use also the latest um, uh, PCI Express uh, with CI support uh, card the TBS uh, 6524 this one and uh, also we will use uh, the 6522 cards the multi-standard multi cards uh, see you in the second part of the review the review will be very extensive we will use Astra Sesbo we will use the new software from uh, um, a Romanian uh, software writer Catalin uh, we will use his uh, mini sat ip it's called the new software it's very handy and um, console line of command um, uh, dvb utility uh, we will test this new my5 uh, intel device with uh, that software with astra sesbo with tv and software and of course uh, we will also try to apply some small transcode to see how uh, powerful or uh, and how how powerful and how um, useful it's uh, such a streaming server a uh, head end like uh, the MY Pro Intel it is thank you very much see you in the second part bye bye